Hello friends, in this video we will be synthesizing sodium violurate from barbituric acid. For this synthesis you will need 12.8 grams of barbituric acid and 7.6 grams of sodium nitrite. Start by taking 12.8 grams of barbituric acid in a 250 milliliter beaker. Barbituric acid was synthesized in one of my previous videos and link for that is in the description. 200 milliliters of water was added to the beaker. Barbituric acid has decently high solubility in water, so it easily dissolves in water. After few minutes of continuous stirring and gentle heating, we are left with a clear pale yellow solution. Next a solution of 7.6 grams of sodium nitrite in 20 milliliters of water was added to it. Immediately the whole solution turns deep purple in color. Sodium violurate synthesis is complete as per the following equation. Now let us see what is the reaction that is happening. First of all nitrous acid is formed from the hydronium ions released by the barbituric acid and the sodium nitrite. And then it makes the nitrosyl ion available through further protonation. The deprotonated barbituric acid is slightly stabilized by the resonance and therefore quite acidic. It can have deprotonated keto and enol form. The nitrosyl ion can then react with the two forms in different way. In the keto form, a bond between the middle carbon and the nitrosyl group can occur resulting in nitrosal form of violuric acid. Reaction with the oxygen takes place in the enol forming an ester of nitrous acid. The ester rearranges to the nitrosal form of violuric acid. Finally, the nitrosal form would totemerize to oxime form in equilibrium. The oxime form is the usual notation of violuric acid. The hot solution was allowed to cool down to room temperature. This will precipitate out some crystals. Now we will isolate the solid product. For more crystals to separate out, we will use sodium chloride. A mixture of 20 grams of sodium chloride and 2 grams of sodium acetate was added to the solution. A lot of sodium violurate precipitates out immediately due to the common ion effect. Around 3 ml of glacial acetic acid was also added to adjust the pH so that maximum crystallization takes place. Sodium acetate acts as the buffer. Now the beaker is immersed in an ice bath for one hour. Finally, the chilled reaction mixture was vacuum filtered using a Buchner funnel. After filtration, the vacuum was kept turned on for 5 minutes to absorb maximum water. The purple color of sodium violurate is now evident. For complete drying, the product was placed in a vacuum desiccator with anhydrous calcium chloride overnight. This is the final product taken out of the vacuum desiccator. The final yield that we got was 15 grams. Now I am planning to make violuric acid out of sodium violurate and then make colored compounds with various other cations. That's all in this video. Hope you have enjoyed the video. These are all my Patreon supporters who are financially helping me so that I am able to purchase new equipments and chemicals required for doing new videos. You can also support me via Patreon or PayPal. The links for both of them are given in the description. Once again, thank you for watching. Do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell button so that you will get notified about my future videos. Thank you.